Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and I have no clue what's going to be in this video. Uh, so today I pretty much just took a trip out to the grasslands to check on the pitfall traps and it's a good thing I did too. Uh, a lot of them, the covers were coming off and all that not so fun stuff. Um, so I went in, uh, collected what I have in the traps so far and replaced them out. Um, it's the 17th today. Um, so I figured while I'm out here, I might as well just uh, film something. So I've been doing a little bit of collecting and uh, there's a couple of, so there's uh, interesting, pretty cool beetles here on this uh, thistle. Um, uh, there's one right there. Kind of, kind of difficult to see. But here's uh, more right there. See a beautiful black and red coloration. So I'm gonna collect these. These have been pretty uh, common here on these thistles on the roadside here. I got a couple on the uh, on the other side over there, um, but uh, Fader since I'm here. I'll just uh, show you some of the stuff. I'm finding all right, so All guys for the wind right here But On a grasshopper here that I had to show you Now that sucker is big and try and hopefully net it and get it in my hand to show you. Well, it's in the net. That was the only way I'm gonna get that one. But, uh, bear with me here for a minute. That is a nice sized grasshopper. First time I've actually seen this one like this out here. So I'm actually not entirely sure which species it is. But it's certainly beautiful. And it has nice red wings too. I don't know if I was able to get it on camera while I was flying. But uh, yeah. Pretty awesome find right there. All right, so I caught a couple already. Uh, well, one just flew away. But uh, the, there's been uh, these really beautiful uh, skippers enjoying the thistle flower. I got one of them right here.
Yes, it all. Focus on it. There we go. Now I know it. I know the species. I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's been quite a while since I've seen the species. But I did a couple specimens today. So this one's been this one's sitting nice here, so figure I'd show you. I'm assuming that wasn't gonna focus. Too much on the background right there. There's, all, there's another beetle on here that I've collected a couple of so far. There we go. Now I'm, I'm a, I think, I believe, if I remember, this is some sort of Meloidae, maybe. I don't think it's a soldier bee. I think it's I think it's a species of blister beetle. It has a really nice orange uh, coloration. These have been enjoying the thistles as well. Almost like we just got a fly join in right there. Uh, but uh, these are definitely a really beautiful orange species. Um, I only have a couple of them I've collected today, so I'm going to grab that one. And uh, I don't know if I'll see anything else uh, this uh, out here or not today. And good morning, everybody. Weekend, back in the field. I'm actually collecting at a new location today. Um, this uh, location's actually been closed for eight years now, seven years, because of uh, floods and fire way back then um i've been here and it just opened again this year so i've been here once this year already but that was for birding but i haven't collected here yet so i'm kind of anxious to see what i uh find um really pretty location actually uh I'm still near the entrance. The parking lot is down over on the other side, right over there. Um, we got a creek that's running really nicely down there that goes up in here. Um, I'm on the trail right here. Um, it's pretty cool this morning. It's been cooler in the 60s the past uh, few days and rainy. So, uh, I'm kind of hoping, well, it's supposed to be nice again this weekend, so I'm hoping to find some new stuff, and that's actually the first thing I've seen this morning. We got a nice uh, bumblebee right there. Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping we see some good stuff. Uh, I'm not positive yet, but we'll find out. All right, so up the trail a little bit. Um, trail's right up there. But I came down here to see if I can see anything. I've uh, been finding quite a few uh, Newman wasps. Been collecting a bit of them. A um, couple butterflies down here, got a couple Cool butterflies. Um, then I saw a look down and like blister beetle galore. Uh, these are uh, in the genus Epicata. Um, is that species not positive? Um, 
still learning the epicotta, they can be difficult to tell apart. Yeah, uh, this plant, that's covered. Um, you got more over there on that plant. And uh, more over there. Got a couple of plants over there. Um, so definitely a, a decent amount. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, collect a couple of these as well, and then we'll uh, keep on moving. So I found these uh, patch of flowers here. Um, of course I take the camera out and the most interesting thing I wanted to show you just flew away. We'll just take a quick look, see what we can see here. We got a nice uh, bee fly right there. Got a bunch of smaller flies. Fly right there. The fly right there. Got a couple small bees as well. Um, I see a small fly right there. Uh, but uh, what I was hoping to show you, and what's been enjoying these, is a uh, juniper hair streak. Now whether it comes back or not, I am not sure. We got some uh, cicadas clicking around me. You got a bee right there. So, I don't know if the butterfly will come back or not. If it does, it'll come back. If it doesn't, we'll just keep on moving on. All right, well, I think I just found a spot I'm gonna spend a little bit of time. This little pat, this patch right here is chock full of wasps and flies and bees and all that. There's some really nice butterflies flying around right in here. Already got a couple of arctic specimens. Um, here we got a skipper right there. There's a blue on here as well. And really something pretty cool over on the far, far flower right there. That's pretty interesting. I'm gonna definitely try and catch that. Um, and uh, successful. So I have some more. I'm just gonna wander around here now. Um, Get this one put away and uh, see if I can do anything uh, right in there as well. All right, so I'm just gonna finish off this video. Um, kind of just uh, show everything that I pinned out from the uh, uh, pitfalls that I picked up while we were at uh, 
out on the grasslands. See, we got a lot of Passamancus species, uh, ground beetles. Um, we got a pretty good, uh, really nice selection of uh, darkling beetles as well. Some nice large Eliotes, some smaller ones too. Um, quite a few uh, large uh, weevils right here. I was surprised by the number of those. Um, some uh, Necrophorus carrion beetles there. A um, bunch of random smaller beetles. Uh, Prionine beetle, Prionis species right there. Um, a bunch of flies. As I think I mentioned before, a lot of the lids were kind of strewn off. Um, so the cups were more exposed, so a lot of flies got in. But most of them ended up good. Just a couple of small things there. Some small beetles I have to point out. Um, so, yeah. For uh, two weeks of... Uh, Trapping, that's a uh, pretty good. Um, then I'm just finishing up these from uh, these are the ones that still that just need pointing, and then uh, I'm gonna spend pretty much spend the rest of the day pointing stuff. Um, so nothing too much going on in this video. Saw some cool things. Um, so hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you guys next time.